Okay. Cut that's perfect. It isn't. Then I'm going to edit it and not sh just not show the part where the hair falls off. Okay, and it looked like the hair is just disappearing when I'm turning back to a human form. Okay, and I shave off my whiskers and do that transformation where I turn back into a human tomorrow. I'll just edit that into the scenes where I had the whiskers. It's a really low budget. As long as it's there, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not as good as Jack P. Pierce. You know, the transformation sequence isn't as perfect as Universal, but, you know, at least it shows me changing. I can just show the full moon, then show, you know, more hair, then full moon, and then show me, like, with the heavier whiskers, and then, then show the full moon again with the fangs. It's a super moon. I filmed it uh, January 1st. Okay, and here you see my animal, the little devil. There's a horny toad monster. There's a fan of the opera. I got an Uncle Fun for two bucks. And there's a giant fly from my movie, Giant Fly. There's a devil ant. That's the one that attacked Roger Corman. And then there's the witch. And there's the Frank and Ben Cooper Frankenstein. I got that 93. It's a replica. I got that at Woolworth. There's a giant devil ant. And then, you know, there, there you see, there's my dad's shortwave radio from the, from the military. Yeah, and then, you know, that, I got this little thing in uh, Science Sur American Science Surplus in Chicago over there on Milwaukee Avenue. And then, you know, these are little test tubes, you know. I got this WGN. It says Turkey DNA on it. Turkey DNA, yeah. Jeff Hoover made that for me for... My turkey monster thing on WGN is a plastic skull from the 60s, you know. There's one of these things, you know. You know, so anyway, that's my dungeon. There's a trap door, there's the skeleton, and there's a Frankenstein mask I got from Eric Bresler as a gift for making a Bigfoot Runs a Muck DVD so he could show it at his wedding and his reception. I got that from my sister. It lights up with Frankie. And then there's the skeleton. I knocked it over a bunch of times in the fish, man, you know, and it just fall apart you know. but you know where I throw it I go Rrr! the thing goes crashing down there's Boris Karloff Frankenstein you know strange universe hit because I was one of the five strangest people in America and then uh, there's a glow in a dark scary monster saucer I was using Demon Monster 2 the sequel to Demon Monster from Outer Space here's some paper plates I got a beef fest right there got Ed Wood got Wood got Ed Wood <laughs> You know, they throw these saucers during playing uh, Z Rock'em Sock'em Robot Jocks. Isn't they show Robot Jocks with, uh, yeah, Paul Coslo, yeah. Meatloaf, Beatloaf, yeah. <laughs> my, Paul Coslo looks like my brother, Phil Nelson, who's in this movie. Yeah, well, and there you go. Robot, he's in, uh, where, you know, Howl of the Werewolf. And my other movies, yeah, Robot Jack's training is all part of the experience of being a young je Jedi. I don't know, whatever. Lyle Talbot, yeah, that's from Plan 9. And here's another one right here, if it's stuck together. There's another one. Oh, okay. Anyway, okay. And then there's a saucer from Werewolf Cafe. Look at it, isn't that cool? Werewolf Cafe. Yeah, I got, my buddy gave me that from the Werewolf Cafe. Here's a video of Nightmare. See, it's a classic Nightmare horror host guy. Not Nightmare Outer Limits episode, but that guy called Nightmare. And here's an old episode of Psychoholics Unan. Oh no, it's only a movie magazine. It's only a damn movie magazine. Yeah. Black exploitation flicks. Like Jim Brown and Fred the Hammer Williamson. Shut your mouth, foo. Only two bucks. My by the man, soul brother. Pay the man, soul brother. Yeah. See? It's only a movie, man. And then Frank Ucard I got from Eric Bresler. That's the guy that sent me the Frankenstein, giant Frankenstein mask. Okay, I'll see you.